Now, as the Ebola epidemic spreads across West Africa, killing nearly 3,000 people, the Red Cross has launched a new health facility in the hardest hit area. Amber Watson spoke to a local Red Cross volunteer who just returned from a special mission in that area. Ebola continues to devastate parts of West Africa. John Wright, a volunteer with the Dark County chapter of the American Red Cross, recently returned from Sierra Leone. With several flight cancellations to and from West Africa, it wasn't easy getting back home. Uh, the truth is they ended up booking me on multiple flights because we were concerned about certain ones getting canceled. The IT specialist was based in the small town of Kalahine for about a month to help improve the technology in the area. One of the biggest problems was power, and pa we provided power through a generator. His team worked on keeping the networks up and running to improve communication. With the recent scare of Ebola now here in the U.S., Wright says he doesn't see it becoming an epidemic like in West Africa. We, we don't have the communications problem that you have in the remote areas of the world. So uh, the, if, it would, if it would suddenly start to evolve here to where we needed to do things like avoid any physical contact uh, or do social separation, uh, we, can, we can accomplish that here, but that's not easy to be done in the, in, the, in the backward parts of the world. Wright says the best way to get this deadly disease under control is informing people on how it's spread and prevent it. The American Red Cross says the best way to get involved in the fight against Ebola is with monetary donations. And that was Amber Watson reporting more than 4,000 Red Cross volunteers are leading disease prevention efforts in West Africa. If you would like to make a donation to the American Red Cross, we have a link on our website, fox45now.com.